Hello friends and welcome back to Stack Right. In this video, we will cover how you can implement event handling in your React.js application. Yes, so up until now, we have covered a lot of things in this React.js series. I would recommend you to, you know, if you are starting now, please start from the first video so that you know how, you know, we are progressing with this particular series. So in this video, I will write code in just one single app component, which is the main root component of my React application. And I will show you how you can do basic event handling so that you develop an understanding, okay, how you can, you know, make things functional on your user interface. Maybe, you know, click off a button or, you know, any other event that is fired on any specific user action. So let's get started. As you can see on the screen, we have a basic app component. I'm printing simple straight right app. So what I'll do is, I'll create an input field and I'll create a button and then on that button we will add a simple event handler which will do something when the button is clicked. Right. So let's create a div inside of this. I use the input tag of type text. Let me give it an identification. Let's say name. And yep, that's it. If I save it, I'm getting an input field over here. Let's give it a placeholder to what is your name okay what is your name so we got this over here i'll add some styling as well let me just you know first complete the code so let me create another div and inside here i'll add a button uh, the button text will be enter app so i'm having this ui let's write some basic css now this is not a tutorial where we talk about css so i'll just quickly write some basic css to make this look better so I'll directly style the input tag. Let me add some padding and pixels. Okay. Width. Let's say 250 pixels. Okay, looks fine. Uh, some margin. Top and bottom. All right. And yep, that's about it. Let me add some border radius as well to make it look even better. Yeah, so now it looks fine. You can add any CSS that you want, uh, style it as per your requirements. I'll quickly style the button as well. Hash for 535AA, color white, padding 10 pixel, 15 pixel. Looking nice, border zero and border radius five pixel. Okay, so I think this is fine. Uh, uh, let me add the cursor pointer as well. Okay, so now I think this UI is looking pretty neat uh, and we are good to go. If I'm clicking on this enter app button, I'm not getting any uh, thing over here. So what I'll do is I will create, so in JavaScript also, if you want to add any event handling on any particular HTML element, you have to use the add event listener method to do that. In case of, you know, you want to do it directly from HTML, you use, you know, attributes like on click, right? So in React.js also, in case of JSX, you find all those, you know, event handler functions over here and you can add or use any of them on any of the JSX elements over here. So we will be using this on click and here I will provide the function name that I will create, which will actually handle or which will actually run the code that I want to be run when the user clicks on this button. So first, you know, let's write the function. Let's keep it this way only. Uh, I will write a function over here. So let's say, uh, welcome user. Okay. So I'll, I'm creating an anonymous function. I've talked about this in multiple times. There are different ways to, you know, create functions. I could have also done this. And it would have been absolutely fine. I can just call this here to remove this error. So I've added this welcome user name, uh, the function name in the on click attribute and everything is fine. Right now there's nothing in the body, so it won't do anything, right? I'm just showing you guys how you can write functions, right? And I will keep talking about this till the end of the series because this is very important and I want you guys to remember by the end of the series, you know, different ways to create function. If you're a beginner, obviously if you are someone who is well aware or well versed with JavaScript, then you already know this, right? Now, if I have to convert this into an arrow function, I can do it like this. And now this is an arrow function. Now inside of this, what I want to do is I want to get the name that the user provides and then show in simple alert box to, you know, welcome the user. I don't want to change anything in the user interface because 
if I do it using JavaScript, that would be wrong because that's what React is all about. So that has to be done using React, which we will cover in the later videos, right? So right now we'll just create a simple alert box to, you know, to show the message to the user. Okay, welcome to the application. And we will just be focusing on event handling, right? So we have added this on click attribute over here, provided the function name and this function name is here that we are about to write the body for. So let me create a variable const name. And just like you do it in JavaScript, I use the document object and the function get element by ID to get this particular input field. And oops. And I can do this. Now I have the reference for this input field in this particular uh, variable and I can easily access the value that the user provides in over here. What I'll do is I'll quickly write alert and inside the alert I'll say welcome. I'll, and I'll use the template literal style. I'll say name dot value and that's about it. I think that should be it and let's see if it works or not. Let me provide the name. Let's say Abhishek and I click on this. Yes. Now we're seeing welcome Abhishek and alert box. It got triggered as soon as you know, the button is clicked. This function got executed. The value was picked from this particular field. Now, obviously you can add more JavaScript code over here. For example, if the user doesn't enter any value over here and clicks on enter application, you can add some checks over here using if else condition. If this input field is empty, you can show a message like, you know, please enter your name, etc. So you can use if else and you can do a lot more stuff using this particular, you know, a setup, right? Now, as I've mentioned earlier as well, you can use this on click attribute to trigger this particular function on user click event. There are other events as well. So you just have to enter on and you will see all these events that you can use. Uh, let's say on mouse over. So this will simply trigger the function when I hover my mouse over this button and it is doing it right. So I'm, I'm not clicking on it. I'm just hovering over this button and this is getting executed. So this was more or less about event handling. Now, obviously this is very basic introduction, but I wanted to give you guys this introduction so that we can move on to create small applications using React.js. So in the next video, we will create a small number guessing game using React.js to make things interesting. And then we'll move on to other different uh, concepts regarding React.js. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any confusion regarding this event handling part that I've covered in this video, please do let me in the comment section below. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It gives me motivation. And if you, you know, watch the videos regularly, please post a comment. It can be any comment. It just not have to be a confusion or a query. It can be like, you know, you're doing a good job. I'll be happy to read those comments and reply back to you. So yeah, that's about it in this video. If your friend is learning React.js, share this video with them as well. See you in the next video.